so uh, thanks a lot abhishek for taking time out and for talking to us i for all of you who don't know him i'd quickly introduce uh, abhishek he is our alumnus from the first batch of muktangan and uh, over the years he has uh, really achieved a lot of success he's done his graduation in mass media from wilson college and a diploma in event management and uh, for the last 6 years he's been freelancing in this area welcome abhishek thank you so much for taking time out Thank uh, so Thank abhishek yeah uh, so i just wanted to start off by asking you a little bit about your experience as a student of muktangan your entire schooling experience if you had to share something th- memorable that you remember or something that's really helped you what would that be yeah it's like that we have been from muktangan for last 13 years and we are the first batch of muktangan basically uh the most memorable part is like we have do not two events is like you know we play the dhayandi so we are having a group of four to five children we are friends and dhayandi ke ek din pehle we decided ki we will do something for school and humne subah practice kiya and sham ko dhayandi thi we gone for a dhayandi humne ek jagah attempt kiya we will pass out and got the trophy to thoda sa power aaya we second we got something dusra we got tisra and next morning we came to the school we have a you know we get a opening ceremony where we all children and teacher get together and then we introduce ourselves that we have gone for the and we have born something like this and to that time supervisor was dhanesh ma'am which who has always supported us she asked ki is great that you have taken your effort and shown us but apne apne school क्या नाम रखा था आपके वी हैव इन एमकेटी सो इट्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड आई एमकेटी एंड देन वी हैव प्लेड यू नो वी हैव एनजीओ वर्किंग फॉर द मैजिक बस वेर वी आर प्लेइंग अ फुटबॉल सो इट्स लाइक वी आर फर्स्ट टाइम एंड वी हैव डिफेटेड अ सिक्स टाइम चैंपियन टीम फॉर ऑलमोस्ट इज अलावा टीम इज बॉस सिक्स टाइम चैंपियन एंड उनको हमने ऐसे एक ही बार में हरा दिया एंड द होल टीम ऑफ द मैजिक बस एंड एन जी ओ लाइक की वो ये कौन सी टीम है ये कहाँ की एनजीओ है that you know the unity the power and the support the teacher have given to us it was very very great first time and it's like if we were almost getting a school in the morning 9 o'clock and ending our day by evening 4 o'clock so it was like ki our parents were the second parents and school was a school teacher was the first parents because parents was accepted ki hamare pure din mein we used to be in the school only it was like ki teacher was the real parent for us and they really done a hard work for us you know getting all this stuffs in the 10th teacher used to come personally to our home and say ki bro is your 10th hai aapka board hai please focus on that you is a time you need to change they are literally written our all these do you know what we call hall tickets ki aapko form aisa banna hai you need to be you know they are very concerned jitna hum concerned nahi the regarding the boards they are very really concerned about ki aapko ye karna hai aapko ye karna hai That was a very great part. Now we are ki abhi itna koi karne wala nahi hai. Now they they are not so much concerned. The concern shown by the teachers and the parents. This is was a great experience we have done. Thank you so much for sharing. And I think that you've uh, you've spoken about the connections that you formed in school. That is the most important thing, na? Because when a child yeah. feels secure in school, that teachers are taking care of me, taking an interest in my life. giving us that confidence i think the the reason you all have been able to uh, win all these competitions and achieve so much is because your teachers really believed in you and believed yeah, that you exactly. all can do well so i think that's really wonderful and that's how the rapport between children and teachers should be um and abhishek i think growing up it's very confusing for all of us na to decide what we want to do there are so now to there is so much of information overload we have so many specializations and courses uh, so it gets really confusing at times to really find out what is our strength what career is going to suit us um and how did you decide your career path and what steps did you take to work towards it uh so basically is all like we have no clue to the 10th and teacher also have no clue what really we we are you know we were very confused we was not aware anything ki what are the outside of the world what things can be do what other thing that so teacher organized the alumni the career guidance course 
which was like people used to come and we go to aptitude test and we need to get what exactly so it's like he, there was a one person i don't they she might be know lopa gandhi who's a person where she was introduced to us and she was like we'll do the aptitude test we'll do the career guidance where you exactly we get able what exactly you want to and what can be is like he, very many people of us was like ki we do we want to do the engineering engineering is the uh, engineering karenge bahut paisa aisa hai but you know once we are done with the aptitude test we know ki we are not able of the getting a e also from the engineering you know the power the skill we having is not like we have to go for engineering you need to go something else and now people and the students we have decided they like ki great that we have changed our mind and we have turn ourselves because if we go with that for flow it won't be possible for us and this is what we are doing right now if i am i am capable for doing the event management for the last 6 year and organizing the skills it's just because of this teachers and the school that supported me and they told me that basically you are made for this you know you are you can't go for something like you want to go for science you go for something arts it's not like that you need you are made for this and you will need to focus on this and this is what we have done Yeah, and I so think like somebody in the comments has just said that Muktangan is not a school, just a school for us. It's emotions, so yeah, that's really family, nice. Really. Yeah, uh, and what you're saying is absolutely right because we think of a certain career path. It might be good for us, but we lack the knowledge. We lack self-awareness mainly. What skills we possess, and you know what, how we can further our our careers, and these kind of aptitude tests, mentoring at the school level itself, the guidance that uh, children need to receive at the school level will really help a long way in um, making those informed choices. It's it's mainly about the decisions that you take at that that age, which will shape your uh, career. And I, you know, leading to that, I wanted to know a little bit more from you about what is it that you exactly do, uh, like your role currently where you're working, and what does it involve? Because you said event management, and that's such a vast field. Uh, so I'm sure that everybody would be very eager to understand what is it that you do exactly. So basically, I've started my career in 2016. Before that, it was like if you go and school, if you see my all the uh, report card, you'll always find my is very good person, is very good leader, he is very well organized. You no, know? it's the main thing, the keyword you always find it me in my report. And it was like once after done my tenth uh, principal, the supervisor so like what you're thinking about? I was like. i have no clue i'll just do my commerce and just figure out something with so they were like uh, you should go for event management is like something that can give you something and we also think that is something like that suppose you so i was like theek hai we'll let's see so i just gone to the to all that completed my graduation but before completing my graduation my teacher also again told me like bro is to have you done with the 12th you need to take something so i say okay i'll just google it and search it for ki what kind of course what are the thing that need to be done in event management so once i completed my 12th standard then i gone to the through the website and found that there are three to four types of courses are available in the event management so it's like you you need to have a diploma course there is a post graduation course there is a bachelor course and there is a master course so i i thought ki i'm i'll be learning my bachelor course in mass media and communication so i thought ki i'll do the diploma course so diploma course is like a 11 month course so basically i've done my 11 month course and also my first year of assignment letter of completing my first year in bmm so once i've done with my course so i thought ki let's do the so we started to do the freelancing you no know? then we really got the idea ki what exactly the things going on going on and this is how we have started the course and you said you're a you're a freelancer now so i mean that is completely different right uh, when you're working for an organization there is a certain structure there is a setup to it but when you're doing something it's like something completely on your own that you're doing um and the field itself requires a lot of application like you said leadership skills and you know uh, good communication skills so uh, how you know how did you get a chance to work on these skills how did you hone them uh it's like you need to be very you know very ground to earth you don't like now people think that event management is like you earn the you no know, it's like a very short term and you can earn the money very easily 
but it's not like that you need to be a very organized person you need to be a very com- good in communication skill you need to be very multitasking you can't it's not it's not like that you need to be focus on one thing you need to be focus on many thing you're dealing with the client you're dealing with the vendors you're dealing with the client's family no so it's not like that you is people think that is three days event was not a three day events it's like we are giving a three month we are getting six months we are getting a more than six months we are doing we are going through the project we are going to the venue we are searching we are searching we enhance with the client that it is good for not is not no it's like he, we are being a part with the family the client and we like he, we are working means it's my responsibility to complete your wedding because wedding and events is like they are coming for the first time in their life you cannot mess up with anything this is what the things go now so you need to be very organized you know you need to, you need to make the things go as they want the things need to be go as they like it you cannot take the first thing cannot go the third and third cannot be go in the first you need to be make a maintain you need to this this is how the things go now so can you share some experiences of some of the events that you've organized anything that you remember so people who know me they know that we have basically gone for ranapur ranapur rajasthan is the wedding of the killer if you know all the killer jin the owner of the killer jin he is his sons was having a ceremony so we have done it in the ranapur rajasthan so the client wanted ki something very different level she wanted something like you people don't know it people don't need it. so do you know so we have gone over then we have just go through the, it with those all good then we have found out that there is a call of water projection thing do you know we have impacted all the videos of the krishna radhas and the clients on the water you know so we have flown the water in the foundation where the water flow on and we have projected the things you know people were sitting and they were like ki the video is playing on a air you don't know you can't see anything you see only see the images so you know is there something new people were very curious about it then we have done a goa wedding where the the fireworks the more people like the fireworks so you know, it's like you one blast and getting a 100 blast at the same time this is what the things we need you no know, you need to be think very different creativity why will people hire you because it's something like you need to organize the things that other people also think like that this is what a person really need and there's so much of technology involved nowadays so i'm sure that it's uh, extremely you know challenging for you all to constantly keep researching on what new uh, you know on what new ways the event can be presented and what technology can be used and how to apply creativity to this to these projects so it's it's a field i think that involves so much of application and you know transferring of of skills uh, so i think i want to ask you what skills do you feel are the most crucial i mean you've already spoken about a couple of them already but what are what are some of the skills that you feel a person who is in this field needs to have and how can you how are you personally also implementing it so basically i believe only three things is like see the person need to be very organization you need to make very it it should be have a very multitasking person it cannot be like you just focus on one thing you need to be very good communication and the last thing i think it should be a very good in negotiating and budgeting because the main thing is to deal with the client with the budgeting and negotiating with the client with negotiating with the vendors you know if you are negotiating with a budget with the vendors is good for the company and if you negotiating the budget with the client is also good for the company company hires you because you do something for that they make ha ah, ki this person is doing something for me so i think these three to four things that people need to understand before coming to into in the industry if they thinks they are very passionate about the things they can do the thing it's not like a day work it's like a day night day night day night you don't need, you are sleepless it's a stressful work it's not like we are doing ki ha kal ka karna hai dekh lenge it's not like that will really give our 100% 200 300% on the work yeah and you know you've also spoken about it being extremely stressful which i'm sure it is because you have to coordinate so many uh, things at so many levels so uh, i wanted to ask you how is it that you personally manage your stress because that is also a skill just like uh, your you know your creativity leadership communication these are all skills but there are soft skills also like negotiation and managing stress and problem solving so how is it that you're working on these skills so basically is like ki i have the idea you know the people call me at the night out you know 
I don't sleep night very easily. If you see my twenty four hours, I'll be sleeping like three to four hours. This is the what the plus point I gone been through. So it's like ki if you if you can deal with something which cannot. So oh, what we call exactly? Interview chalu. Sorry. Just a sec. Sorry, for the reason. It's like if the more passionate, the more things you like to do. I was like, if making someone happy, uh, making someone like that, if client, pure three four days ka event ho jaye, client was like, bro, you done it, you killed it. I will like, if me ko oh, sun ke I was like, chalo. I don't think about the other things. I don't think if I have how many days stress liya, I have how many oh, my. I didn't eat the food. I left my sleep. It's not like it. It's like a client came and told me, "Bro, you did it. You killed it. This is what we want. Done. I achieved my thing. What I want. This is what I believe in me." Yes. And uh, do you also feel that somewhere in your schooling experience, the kind of exposure you have received has? Uh, Help to become this person. Now it, as an adult, it comes naturally to you to manage multiple things and coordinate and you know collaborate. It's coming naturally to you. But I'm sure that there has been a learning curve for you in this journey also. So, uh, what is it from the social emotional point of view? Also, I'm asking, um, what are some of the experiences you've had that has helped you? So, it's like we we have a a course that called we have personal development where. We need to no. We need to explore ourselves very a bit. What exactly the things are going on? So they also help me that if you you are good good person, you have you know you can deal with the people easily. You can convey the people very easily. So it's like you you can go through it. Then what they we have done a many more activity. We have done a street play. Then we have done a group. We have researched something on it. It's like you have to give us something. We have got us some topic and you have to research on that. We will go into someone's house. We going for building. We are we are researching on the things. You know, these are that make me a confident that you can. It's what like in school you don't know what's going on, but if you come out from this school, you exactly get what exactly you wanted. We are dealing with people. We are talking. We are talking to a strange person. We are performing in the unknown person. You know, doing the thing that that build your confidence. That build your steam. Keep bro, you can do it by your just making yourself in a. In a shell, you need to open up with the shell, and you have to do something that you can really do it. So it's like it. school also help us with the no. It's like it. It help you to shape it. What exactly you can? You just need to go out, and you can just need to perform, and the things go on. You just need to believe in yourself. You don't need. You don't need to listen to what society is saying. Society is like it. No yoga, but school doesn't. School school is like if you can, you go. If you think, you you should think of it. No, you should go on it. This is what the school have taught us. Absolutely, the the belief system which we spoke of earlier that they actually believe in each and every child in your potential, and apart from that, a lot of respect and regard that every child has different skills, and uh, this is you know nurturing those skills helps children really flourish. What you said is very yeah. true. That in school, we do, as children, you don't really know. You're just learning everything, whether it's you know participating in events and um, academics. But once school is over and you actually go into college, start working, that's when you realize how important these experiences have been and how these skills are coming into use. I wanted to also ask you, what are some of the challenges of this event management industry? Um, from the industry standpoint do you think there are some challenges and how are you trying to negotiate and navigate your way through this so is after once you know after covid we are very facing a lots of challenges is like ki budgeting problem negotiating with the budgeting because people are gone through the market they know the they know the actual price what the things are going right now so this is the first thing that going with the budgeting and second thing is like technology now do you know people watch the reels and they go through you know they compare the thing with the foreigns and the indian you know the technology of the foreigns is very different from the indian technology the technology of the 
Dubai is very different for us because Dubai has a very long space, very large space, but India don't have. But people wa- people think I want that thing. Figure out that thing. People want that we need the moon in the ground, but you cannot do it. But you can make an artificial to you go through it. Like the technology thing, then is a lack of backup thing. You know, Mumbai don't have rain, but if you go for Nashik, if you go for Nagpur, you see there's a loss of rain, there's a loss of storm. You know. So if you're planning a event on the outdoor, you need to have a backup and you need to make a indoor also. The something like that. So you know, this is what you get a sleepless, stressful night because you have planned something that will be go outdoor. But the climate change, the weather change, you need to bring all the things into into. But it cannot be done within a second, within a minute. So you need to have a backup. This is the what challenging we are picking right now, picking up the right venue, because you know if you research on this, there's lots of bidding going on right now. This month, the season month, and people want ki we want ma- we want the venue this only. It's like if you go to the venue, you discuss with the manager. Manager say we have already booked. You need to make them ki bro take something else, and you can no. This is all. But you are getting the extra income. You have to giving the extra income, but you cannot tell the client that we are giving extra income. But this is this is the thing that we are getting really, really, really challenging right now, and we'll think that we can back up or something like that. and as a freelancer i'm sure that uh, during the pandemic you might have really had a lot of uh, challenges to deal with so uh, how was that experience for you like especially during the pandemic yeah it's like all people were suffering with all the thing people was lacking with the income people were lacking with their sources people were lacking with their bodies it's like people were sitting at the home doing nothing they were just going through the internet they were just suffering suffering the internet and this is what the shape of the body people was like a thin and now they are liking a thing the shape of oval but you know what it's like you do you know the coin have a two side so people also use it that two side people also ignore them themselves for the yoga and the people like us the youth we also research on the youtube we need, we'll go on the youtube we we'll go on the reels we we'll go on the bigger company and search ki what they are doing you no know? for the ask the AI, the institute of the event management they were like they were creating a courses Ki what can you do? What are the things? What how can you deal? How can the things go on? How can you manage the hotels? What are the things that you get? So it's like a, the people are making making a social gathering. So this is what the first you know you having a plus point also you having a minus point also. It's up to you what you take it and what you not take it. So people are like us. We were going through the social media. We were going through the live session. We were attending the live session. It's not that it was the Indian. It was the outside people also going for a live session. So we were attending the live session and we. getting the idea what exactly people are the seniors the most senior experience the most people what they actually want to say and we are getting the idea and this is what we are implementing implementing right now and we are getting a successful event and the things going on right absolutely correct and i think that the pandemic was a very good time for all of us to do a lot of uh, reflection and self learning uh, because like you said you know it was very easy to sit at home and not you know keep ourselves motivated but then it's very important that you constantly keep learning and constantly keep reflecting on what you're doing and keep upgrading yourself because ultimately in any field you constantly need to upgrade yourself and you know need to pick on new skills and keep up with the relevant times i i wanted to also ask you do you think that the education system in general is actually equipping children to apply skills in life uh because we have at least i have grown up in a, a kind of a traditional education system where the focus was a lot to do with the academic part of it uh but now we are seeing things are changing and there is so much of emphasis on skills when the new policies are talking more about skills and how children should um be developed into good human beings and good citizens and they should be in a position to apply skills in life so uh how do you think at the school level this can be done is is part of my experience as well like ki myself my students my friends and teacher was very unknown ki what exactly the future the what can be a, a light but you know right now if you go if you if you find on the google is a google like you find the many 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 courses online it's a short term course a long term course is a distance courses you need to go it's like you need to be focus on the thing you what exactly you want to And if you decided that I think the things I want to do like this, 
you can go and through go to the website you can search people now people doing the diploma course getting a more income then people are doing the bachelor course and wasting their 3 years 4 years in this field it's like ki you need to be more active on the media and you need to get what exactly the things are going on what are the things the what are the placement what are the schemes are being you know government also forming a lots of scheme you just need to go you just need to give your time you, in fact instead of giving a time on the social media you just need to give a time on the career so you can be get exactly what you no know? people thinks ki he have done the diploma course at the age of 18 years and is growing the income people don't see the main, the work the hard work i am doing right now only it can it can be seen by with my parents it's like a per day event we call, we get a 3000 rupees and if you calculate for the 3 to 4 days like a 12000 uh, event no people think that is in, in getting the 12000 per event and it's like they calculate and they like bro you are getting 90000 per month so people don't think that we are getting a 90000 we are getting we are for 90000 we are giving 30000 as a no getting what exactly we are getting we are, we are giving all the no heart felt to this we are making confuse what exactly the things need to go on you need to like you being a, in a one project is like if, if you are getting a 90000 you are investing a more than one cr you no know? it's like that so people don't think the key, people like key, they see only the income but they don't see the hard work is like i want to like you need to see the hard work people is getting a if he is getting a that much amount if he is getting that much income is like because he is giving the things that is achieving that much amount right absolutely and uh, you know uh, we always look for motivation outside we always look for something where, which drives our motivation but a lot of the motivation is also intrinsic it should come from within a person that i want to do something or i want to achieve something that belief and self confidence and that intrinsic motivation really helps uh, anyone whether it's a child or an adult so what is it about your job abhishek that really inspires you you know something that you wake up every morning and you know that this is what you want to do uh basically my field is not as like a stability is like you always get a new thing to learn acquiring a new skill you know it's not today you are dealing with a client to, yes tomorrow you will be dealing with the vendors the after tomorrow you need to deal with the banners you need to deal with the branding team it's like something you are you are meeting with a new person you are competing with a difficulty you are dealing with something situation you don't want it so this is what the thing and i look as like i'm very passionate to to do this this thing interacting with the new people going with a, going on a new place implementing your process and finding the things this is what the things make what make me that bro make me active and you like you need to be go this is what i want and this is what i am doing right now and i think that also has a lot to do with your experiences because uh, the way you are you know you are dealing with so many different things and learning different things it's a very holistic field event management involves a lot right from research to uh, negotiation people skills a uh, creativity planning you name it and that skill is applicable in in the field of event management uh so abhishek what are your personal and you know your professional goals now what is it that you want to do ahead in life it's like i will i being in a, i'll be find something a, a proper job right now i'm just searching for a proper job now because freelancing you know is like a over upper upper se sab hota hai and right now i need to be go on inside the company and to know what exactly from start to end you know it's like we are getting a project in hand and we are just implementing on the field work uh, right now i will finding there something i need to go back what as the back stage what the the things are going in the back what the things are going in the office how do you please the client how do you deal with the client what are the budgeting what are the things you need to negotiate it and how you pre event pre event post event so it's like we do the we don't do the pre events we do the post and on the field so i i want to do the pre so it's like i want i'll be mostly focused on the now right now of the official work and once i'm doing with the official work then you get the proper idea what the things going on and after 4 to 5 years we'll just try figure out something we need to go on that we can or else we can create something our own yeah yes yes you're absolutely right and uh, you know uh, 
it's very important what you said about the you know the professional uh, aspect knowing the business completely not just a part of it yeah. um and it's um, impressive that the youth today there is so much clarity in thought uh, it also has a lot to do with the fact that from an early age itself we are encouraged to make our own decisions we are given the right kind of guidance there's so much of mentoring that happens plus the fact that now with you know knowledge being available literally on our fingertips we just go to youtube or we click on a video and there's so much of information that's available i think all of this shapes our decision making and that's why when you're speaking you're very extremely clear in what you want to do what experience you have what skills you need to work on so i think that's that is something that the the entire education system really needs to focus on and uh, exactly. now lastly abhishek i wanted to know from you do you have any message for for children or for youth who are listening to you right now uh from my experience it's like people don't focus on the skills don't focus on the talent they focus on the कॉपी यू नो कॉपी एट मुझे इसके ऐसा बनना है मुझे इसके ऐसा करना है यू नो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट यू नीड टू बी मोर कंसर्न विथ योर कैरेक्टर यू नो यू नीड टू बी मोर कंसर्न विदर दैन कंपनी विद रेपोटेशन पीपल लाइक कि मुझे ऐसा रहना चाहिए मेरे को वो क्लास में रहना चाहिए नो माई फ्रेंड सर्कल इज लाइक दैट माई फ्रेंड सर्कल लाइक नो ब्रो वंस यू अचीव योर थिंग वॉट यू वॉन्ट योर थिंकिंग ऑफ दैट इट वोट कम टू यू यू नीड टू बी मोर लाइक यू You need to be more plus point towards yourself. Respect your parents because, who you are now, the parents will be there for you. Your friends won't be there. Your society won't be there. So respect your parents. Respect your thought, and be totally focused on what you exactly you want to be. And I think then you can achieve whatever you want it. But if you are still confused on what you you think, I need to go over here. I need to go over this. I need to go over this. If you have three to four option, doesn't work. You need to be more focused on the one thing. and be prepared on that thing so this is what the things can go on thank you for sharing and uh, it's it's really good what you said about uh, the fact that we really need to all of us need to be extremely focused um and not compare ourselves with others because others. that's a general tendency that all of us do have that somewhere or the other we feel that we should be like somebody else but in that in that uh, quest we we forget that we ourselves are full in terms of our own capacities there's so much potential within each one of us and we're also different from each other so just make concentrating your role model for on that only. you can you know what you can make your role model of yourself you bro yes. i can be also a ambani i can be also a tata why do you want to copy you can go on their path but think about that ki maybe aisa ho sakta why don't i can't be people don't think people right. like ki mujhe ammani aisa banna hai this is what the thing correct learning from everybody is a good thing but at the same time uh, not putting yourself down is what you're trying to say no uh, boosting our own self confidence is really required um and uh, the you know the other part about respecting parents respecting our elders uh, i think that's that's the value system in general that you're talking about which also should be an integral part of um, the the system today that you know we don't completely focus just on academics but we also look at the value systems not not just respecting uh, you know our parents and elders but respecting everybody respecting all human kind um, and working in collaboration with everyone so i think these are really um, nice and important points that you have raised you know it's what like people the people gone for the higher studies people get the higher studies they don't they don't like mm. they respect the people on their same age on the same level they they yeah. respect the people this is what the being a society is going through on and this is what i feel no if i no this is like being experience from my side if i am a, a manager so uh, dealing with the vendor is like ki tu tera dekh you don't know it's like they also you may mean they also working really? for their fa- family we also working for our family so you know if you deal with them very polite way they also be standing for you any time anywhere this is how i deal with the vendors this is how i can deal if you don't respect them at the moment they want it they mm-hmm. don't they won't stand for the moment you want it no the, because in event management the event industry the things changes next by a few minutes and minutes you know and okay. you need to convey the vendors ki this is what is going on But it's like if you don't respect them, they won't stand it. 
fit for that if you don't you don't if you this do if you do the good thing right now you get the result better for the in future yes it will take time I'm, but the future will get absolutely and event management is an effort of so many people there are so many people involved in making an event a successful event and i think that respecting everybody and what you said dignity of labor that each person's job is equally important they are all bringing different skills and knowledge to the table and valuing the effort that each person is putting in is very crucial and all these values and skills and you know knowledge it it needs to be inculcated in in children right from their early ages only then it it comes we are building the future we say education builds the future generation so that's the building that we are talking about uh thank you uh, thank you abhishek for taking time out and talking to all of us uh it's been a wonderful uh, conversation with you yeah no problem thank you so much for inviting me thank you thank you